Welcome back to the Pink Floyd Collectors YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to look at uh, scrapbook number 11. I think that's where we're up to. This book, I can actually tell, was probably one of the first scrapbooks I ever compiled back when I was about 16, so a few years ago now. I can just tell that by the look of it. So although it's number 11, that's because these have been renumbered. So let's uh, dig in. Um, the first one on page here, I think this is just because I've slipped it in here. This is a quite a rare French advert. You've got the Genie Bitter Lemon Tonic uh, presenting Pink Floyd for their seven concerts. This was in 1974. Um, so quite a, a rare sheet there that I hadn't properly filed away yet. Uh, the band photo celebrating outside EMI Studios. This is when they'd signed their contract. Uh, I can see this is from Q Magazine. Uh, magazine, this looks like, yeah, from the UK for the Echoes Best Off. So this would have been a full page ad. Um, uh, uh, I think this was around the release of Wish You Were Here. So this is a, a UK advert again saying that there's 60p off. You've got the uh, Pink Floyd and T-Rex songbook. That uh, goes for quite big money now, but uh, an advert there for that one. The uh, charts here with Dark Side of the Moon at number 13. And I think we can tell this was uh, weeks in charts, 108. So this is probably a couple of years after its release. So still hanging in there. And a advert here for the uh, Roundhouse in Dagenham, quite a famous venue, or certainly went on to be a famous venue uh, in Dagenham. And an advert there to see the Pink Floyd. It probably would have been 1970 from memory. Uh, this is cut out from a UK press newspaper. So this is again, I think we've seen this before, the actual photo. This is the uh, press article where... Somebody had written Pink Floyd, The Wall, and uh, the invasion of Iraq, the first direct invasion. So I think as a teenager, I made these kind of collages where I'd cut up magazines, posters. So that's one of David Gilmore, and one there of Sid, and another of various ones of David. You'll see in this uh, scrapbook, I did make a few mistakes in hindsight with these kind of cut up but butcher jobs. Uh, Rick Wright. This is part of a series of, um, I think these were four cinemas actually to put in outside when the film was uh, taking place. There's a whole series of these around the uh, movie release of The Wall. So that's the first one, people wearing the pink mask. And uh, obviously Chaos era Roger there. And again, this is one of those featured for The Wall. Another one there of Roger, and again, Another see. I think there's about 12 of these from memory. So Nick Mason, a couple there. Again, you can see I've cut out and around. These these, these could have been from calendars or poster books at the time. So two more for, from the wall. A uh, nice one there, full page. And then there's the Führer. The trial scene. And again, more here. Pink with the school teacher and pink in the trenches. So yeah, I think there's about 12, 15 of those. Again, more of my clever scissor work back in the day. Uh, Roger. And another couple there. Of the, I, I think you'd call them cinematic posters. They were just to advertise the film when, you know, when it was closed or just to tempt people into see it. Couple of cutouts here. This looks like it was probably from Tap, The Amazing Pudding, or The Record Collector. Couple of bits there about uh, Roger getting married to a friend of uh, Fergie. Some more photos here from the wall. And then another one of those from the series, the cinematic ones. And again, more cutouts here. This is actually, uh, the, I think it was the UK sticker that would come on some of the uh, original 12 inches. Um, so what God wants, God gets. So that was uh, from Amused to Death. And again, another one of those. So maybe there's about 15 of these. And again, 
There's some lovely imagery uh, from the film. More cutouts. And this is a classic example of making a mistake. So I had the full poster of the pros and cons of hitchhiking from Roger Waters in Birmingham. And I think it was creased a little bit. So I just cut out around the words, the pros and cons of hitchhiking. Now that poster's worth quite a lot of money in hindsight. The Bob Hassel book. Uh, again, these are probably from Record Collector, it looks like. An original ad for the uh, 2002 shows. Um, that would have been in London. And then the 89 review, Pink Floyd Rock the Dock. That's when they played the Docklands. And again here, another butchered poster. The wall products I've just cut out around the writing. Discarded the rest of it. Two more at the cinema. More images from uh, the wall live. And again, another one of pink with the uh, razor blade. Yeah, more general cuttings. Uh, David Gilmore, UK press clipping when he gave his house uh, to homeless shelter crisis. And another one here, uh, talk, talking about the difference between David Gilmore and Elton John. Troubled Waters, this is actually quite a famous review of uh, Pink Floyd Live at Earl's Court. And this is when uh, Pink Floyd crashed a car actually. Um, but what would have become the Carrera film? Um, this talks about David Gilmore. Uh, I, I think it was only David Gilmore got hurt, but this is the Daily Mirror, so I don't know whether you can really believe a lot of the stuff here. Um, another record collector one here about the Jokers Wild single that came up for sale. And this is actually a card from the coffee shop, The Wall in Amsterdam. It was quite a well visited taunt of mine in my uh, 20s, I guess, or slightly before. Um, but it was a Pink Floyd themed. There's one of three at the time, actually, two very good ones that were Pink Floyd themed coffee shops in Amsterdam. Is this the final cut for the Floyd? So that was obviously relating to the final cut. Another piece here on uh, the Earl's Court film that they were filming for the uh, the Wall film. So it was the live show being filmed. Another one of those cinematic posters. I don't know how many we're up to now. But yeah, there's quite a few of them. I'm not even too sure what's on the back of these. Uh, they're quite thin. Like I say, this one I've gone direct to the glue, so it'll probably never come off. Some postcards at the time. Uh, in head shops, you could buy Pink Floyd postcards. Um, so typical kind of shots of the band. Uh, one from, obviously, Sid era. One from the uh, early 70s. And another one there. I think this is for like a 75 show, but they're using an early picture. Uh, nice uh, 75 ad for Obscured by Clouds. So this would have been a rerun of it a few years after it had come out. It came out in 72, didn't it? The, uh, the Valley. And this is a, another classic example of some bad butchery. I actually had a signed album of the, the Wall signed by Nick, Roger, Rick, and the Dave Gilmore one was very, um, kind of almost being rubbed off. But in my wisdom, I decided to cut it up. <laughs> so yeah. That's how it appears today. You can see the Relics poster as well. Yeah, and the last one is again from the cinematic pictures the wall with uh, Pink in the armchair and TV and the lamp post. Or oh, the lamp. Alright, that's it anyway. So, uh, scrapbook number 11. Um, I'm hoping to get through these. Like, I've got 63 of these, so wish me luck. But yeah, it helps me to have these referenced in some way, and I hope you enjoy seeing them as well. Thanks.